it will be a domestic terminal, but it's not our dedicated domestic terminal. So we will still have domestic operations in the IA T3. We will still have domestic operations in T4. Uh, but the difference is in the IA Terminal 2, instead of it being a mix of international and domestic flights, uh, by July 1, uh, NAIA Terminal 2 will become all domestic. So what, what do we mean by all domestic? Certain flights from the other terminals that I mentioned, like Terminal 3 and Terminal 4, those of Philippines Air Asia. You know, uh, Terminal 4, if you've been there, Sercito, is one of the most congested places we have in NAIA. So on a passenger uh, experience perspective, uh, it, it's not very pleasing. They're putting all of the flights of Philippines Air Asia. Uh, that's why one of the things that we're going to do by July 1 is we will be moving the domestic network of Philippines Air Asia uh, from NAIA Terminal 4 and NAIA Terminal 3 because they do operate from both those two terminals and we will be moving them to NAIA Terminal 2. But for us to do that, we will have to move the international operations of Philippine Airlines from NAIA Terminal 2 to NAIA Terminal 1. We take note that there will be some people that will be uh, used to, you know, how they do it in the past decades. You know that Philippine Airlines has operated for in Terminal Two mm. as their up base uh, for the longest time. Ever since actually it opened in T two, it yeah. only knew one customer. It's Philippine Airlines, right? So. But uh, of course, we know that the airline is growing, and for them to grow further, they would not fit anymore in just uh, the IA Terminal 2. That's why in coordination with their management and to improve the service that we deliver to their uh, international passengers specifically, uh, we, we've thought of moving them to the IA Terminal 1 because Terminal 1 is uh, approximately uh, you know, uh, not too distant from Terminal 2. So in terms of interoperating their this domestic and international network, that will still work for them. And at the same time, Terminal 1 has the capacity uh, for, 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 to accommodate the Philippine Airlines passengers for their international flights.